Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you another super simple trick each and every single one of you can use in order to improve your performance on your Windows PC and I'm going to be showing you a tool which is going to be called Windows 10 Privacy which is a free to use tool guys which every single one of you can get your hands on and the tool can help you to disable a bunch of processes in the background of your Windows PC guys in order to improve its performance and what's the best thing about it is it already has like a built-in indicator which can show you okay this tool you can disable 100% this one is a little bit more risky and those ones I really wouldn't recommend you so therefore it's super easy to use. If you guys enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much. And without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. So guys and here we got the pack in now exactly with the tool which I just mentioned in today's video which is going to be called Windows 10 Privacy which we're going to drag here onto our desktop guys and you can get your hands onto it super easily over on my website guys. Simply click on the first link in the description and there you can already see here now guys that there are tons of boost packs here already on this website and we're going to click to onto FPS boost. Once we get redirected, there should be a post here on the top, guys, with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now. So therefore, again, click onto it. And once you get redirected, just simply scroll down a little bit until you can find this download button, which is going to redirect you to Google Drive from where you can download the following pack here. And then we're going to go through the installation process and the tool should look then exactly like this here. Windows 10 Privacy. And then, guys, once you start the tool itself, you can find, you know, privacy apps. And these are basically like the... And once you start the tool itself, guys, you can now see that there are tons of processes on you which you can disable on your PC. And it already says here, recommended setting, nearly no side effects. If it's yellow, you can see conditionally recommended, must be examined on an individual basis. And then like restricted, which would be red, but there are like none of these services here right now on the privacy. And then we have something like disable the active history. Disable the application telemetry, disable the Windows customer experience improvement programs, disable the publishing of user activities. And basically what we can do guys is stop all these services on our PC, which are consistently sending data to Microsoft, you know, or something like disable inventory collector, disable options of password display, pretty much anything which has to do something with like sending data to Microsoft or reporting like errors, stuff like that, delivery error reporting, additional data. You know, and we can just simply make sure to disable all of these processes here, super, super easy. And then we're going to click onto set change settings. And then once we get it, guys, we're also going to go over now here into applications. And I would simply recommend you to actually turn off all of them, which are green marked, you know, the yellow ones, I would just leave out here, guys, but something like disable access to contacts on this um, device. Then we have something like deny apps, the access to my contacts, you know, all of these like privacy issues basically set. And once you make sure that you selected all of these, here, guys, we're going to click here again onto set change settings settings and we already disabled so many of these on our PC guys so therefore no more data gonna get sent to Microsoft and then once we're done with it guys we're going to reset our PC real quick and enjoy having a lot faster system overall which is also going to improve the FPS on our PC and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions for free to ask me them down in the comment section below I try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace